Did you know that there are more than 3,000 components used in the construction of a house? There's a myth out there that you can't or shouldn't inspect a new home before buying. Let's bust this myth and explore why these inspections are essential. Today, I'm gonna to share with you the three types of inspections you should get and tips for making the most of them. Hey y'all, I'm Heidi Littleton, your realtor here in Phoenix, Arizona. Let's dive in. So let's talk about a few myths right off the bat. Number one, that a new construction home is perfect because it's new. While I would love to say that's true, that is far from the truth. While many builders do their best to make sure your home is delivered to you perfectly, the reality is you will have many hands on your home, which can lead to mistakes and not all builders are created equal. Some do meticulous work and some can be a bit of a disaster. Number two, many people think you can't inspect a new construction home, but that's not true either. You can and should inspect various stages of your home's construction. Not only will this give you deeper insight into your home's condition and build, but it can reveal hidden elements like plumbing and electrical systems issues before they're covered up. Let's talk about the types of inspections you should consider. Before we chat about them, I do want you to know that there is an additional cost for these. Each can range from $400 to $600. However, the cost of not doing them can be much higher. I have seen some major issues like plumbing installed wrong, missing insulation, and even an AC unit installed backwards. Having these inspections can save you major headaches down the road and give you a peace of mind when you take possession of your brand new home. The first that I recommend is the pre-drywall inspection. This is crucial because it allows an inspector to examine the framing and systems installation before they're hidden by drywall. I had a recent one that showed uneven floors, loose boards, and even a crooked wall. We sent these to the builder and they were able to fix them right away prior to the client's pre-drywall walkthrough. The next is the final walkthrough inspection. This typically happens two to three weeks prior to you closing on the home. The inspector will come in and make sure everything is done correctly, like the outlets are installed properly, insulation, roofing, plumbing, cabinets, everything. You will also come in behind them and do the blue tape walkthrough to mark up all of those cosmetic issues like missing paint or loose cabinet hardware. It's all your chance to add these issues to the final punch list for the builder to complete prior to moving in. The final inspection I recommend is your one year inspection. Most builders will cover just about everything in your home for that first year. Your third party inspector will come in and ensure everything is still in good working order and nothing has malfunctioned or broken as the house has started to settle. You can then have the builder repair these items at the one year mark before they are no longer covered. And for those that wanna go the extra mile, consider a foundation inspection before the concrete is poured. This ensures the foundation is set correctly, which is vital for the longevity of your home. So why are these inspections so important? Simple, they ensure your new home is built correctly and safely. With over 3,000 components in a home and various contractors, the potential for issues is real. And while yes, there are code and city inspections, stuff can still be missed, unfortunately. These third-party inspections are your safeguard against future headaches. So there you have it. Inspecting a new construction home is not just possible, it's a must do to protect your investment. Remember, a new home may look perfect, but it's the unseen details that truly matter. Drop your questions in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for new construction tips and tricks here in Phoenix. Until next time.